All right, guys, so today I'm going to be looking at widescreen bars. I'm going to be looking at fake widescreen bars, and I'm also going to be sharing you the edit and export settings for true widescreen. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Kinds Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. If you do enjoy the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I read and reply to all the comments. It's always nice to hear from you guys, start a conversation. I'm trying to build a bit of a community here, so please do leave a comment below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. So today we're gonna to be looking at widescreen bars. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the fake widescreen bars that a lot of people use in their videos. And also I'll be showing you how to edit and export in true widescreen, which is the right way of doing it. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro, but you can transfer these techniques to any editing software. So most of the times when we film and edit, it will be in a ratio of 16 by nine. But what a lot of filmmakers try to do is emulate the 21 by nine ultra wide cinemascope look and it does give it a really filmic look there's two ways of doing it there's the fake lazy way of doing it which i use quite a lot it's frowned upon by a lot of filmmakers but personally i don't really see too much of an issue with it so if we just drag this onto our timeline this was filmed in 16 by 9 so to get the fake widescreen all i would do is i would create an adjustment layer Drag that over our clip. Then I would go to the effects tab. I would type in crop. I would drag the crop effect into the effect controls. From the top I would go 13% and from the bottom I would go 13%. There we have our widescreen bars. Then you would just adjust the film to fit the bars how you want them to fit the bars. I think it makes your film look much more cinematic. I haven't really got a problem with doing it that way. The issues are when you try to play it back on screens with different resolutions to your normal HD or 4K video. If you're playing it back on a really low resolution screen, you might get a lot of noise in the black bars because the black bars are baked into the video itself. So that's not ideal. And if you're playing it on a 21 by nine screen, which a lot of computer monitors are these days, or a lot of widescreen TVs, 21 by nine, because the film is still a 16 by nine film, then you'll get something that looks a little bit like this. So you'll get the pillars either side as well as the top and bottom, which, you know, looks a bit rubbish to be honest. If you're wanting a cinematic look, then that's not really it, is it? With that in mind, True widescreen might be the way to go. I'll show you how to do it. So we'll go to File, New Sequence. So we won't use any of the presets. We'll just go straight to Settings, DSLR, 23 point, so 24 frames per second, that's fine. Okay, so frame size. If you're working with 4K footage and you want to keep it 4K, then what you want to do is you want to type in your 3840, and then you want to do this calculation. I'll put it on screen so that you can all follow me. And then you're going to do this calculation for the vertical. So if we bring up my calculator. Okay, so what you're going to want to type in is 3840. Okay, and then you're going to divide that by 21. So that's the 21 part of the equation. Press equals. Okay, and we've got this nice long number. Then we're going to times this by 9, which is the 9 bit of the equation, so the 21 by 9. And there we get 1645.7 recurring. So we're just going to round it up to 1646. Or you can round it down to 164. We'll round it down to 1645. It doesn't really make too much difference. Okay, so in our vertical, we'll put 1645. And then we're just going to save that preset as 4K widescreen. Okay, and there we have it. If you look at the screen now, you can see that it's in widescreen. It's moved from that 16-9 ratio to the 21-9 ratio. So if we now drag our footage onto the timeline, keep existing settings, let's see 
Now our footage is in our timeline in the 21 to 9 ratio, which is true widescreen. And then you just might want to move the video up a little bit just to fit the widescreen. And that's all you do for 4K. And then to export this footage, all you would do is bring up your export settings, um, match source. So if you click match source on your export settings, and as you can see, your output is now 3840 by 1644, which is 21.9. So you now have a 4K widescreen export. Simple as that. Say you're working with 1080p video, very similar. So let's open a new sequence, file new sequence. And we'll go to settings, uh, 1920 by 1080. But let's bring the calculator up again. So let's clear that. So we go to 1920. We're going to divide that by 21. Okay, and then we're going to times that by 9. And there we have 822. So let's round it up to 823. And then in our vertical, we'll do 823. And then we're going to go to the sequence name. We're going to type in HD widescreen. Click OK. There we have our HD 21 by 9 widescreen project. So I've got some ten, the same footage in 1080p here in full HD. Keep existing settings. And there we have it. Bang. So again, we'll just readjust the screen a little bit. But as you can see, we have our footage shot in 16.9, now in a 21 by 9 ratio sequence. Okay, and if you wanted to export that, Control M, match source, it's all matched already. And then you can just export that out as a widescreen video. And that's how you do true widescreen, it's as easy as that. It's a simple equation, simple math, or simple math, as they say in America, I believe. So yeah, two ways of doing it. You either use the fake widescreen bars, um, use the crop function to create those bars that get baked into your video or you do it the right way change the ratio of your sequence so that you can export in true widescreen hope you found this video useful if you have please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below i read and reply to all your comments and it's always nice to hear from you so please do get involved leave a comment below let's start a conversation Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and remember to hit that notification bell so that I can let you know when future content is released. At the moment, I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday, so please do hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next one.